friends. We are making cauliflower au gratin for our supper club this Wednesday to go along with the tenderloin and salmon and asparagus. Uh, but I wanted to show you this. So what we did was we did 10 minutes on the, um, in the microwave, we had frozen uh, aspar asparagus, <laughs> cauliflower. And then uh, we did, we stirred it. We had uh, some garlic. So we just did some garlic powder in there. And then we did this seasonella, just a little bit of the sprinkle of the seasonella because that's got a lot of salt in it. Uh, but really good. It's got garlic, sage, black pepper, rosemary, um, and sea salt. So uh, we put a little bit of that in there and a stick of butter because we have six packages. So 72 ounces, that each package 12 ounces. And um, uh, so, so now that we've roasted it for a little bit, to dry it out a little bit, we're going to put some sour cream, a little bit of goat's uh, goat cheese, and then we're going to put it in the blender. So we've got this big blender and we're going to blend it in the blender and then we're going to put it into these roasting or these uh, Pyrex pans. We have two of them here. So we have a smaller one and a larger one because we have 12 guests coming or there'll be 10 guests coming in plus us two. So we're, we're going to make a big batch of it and we'll have that and the asparagus. We got three bunches of asparagus and then we have a whole tenderloin and a salmon. So um, preparing for the dinner and wanted to show you guys. Hello friends. Okay, so we've got the cauliflower out of the pan and into the blender, as you can see over there to uh, the right, or right side of your picture. And then um, we've put in a little bit of sour cream and now we're gonna put in some goat cheese and some more of the cauliflower. And so Rob's just uh, spooning in some of the cauliflower from the pan. We already had blended up some of the cauliflower because we wanted to make sure that the blender was going to be okay with uh, blending it all up and mixing it up and so on and so forth. But this is basically how we do it. We put in the blender, we put in the sour cream, we uh, put in the goat cheese, and then once it's done, we'll put it into those Pyrex pans that I showed earlier and bake it in the oven with some shredded pepper jack cheese on top. I hope that helps. Okay, we got the next step for the cauliflower. So Rob is gonna pour it into these uh, Pyrex pans. And what will happen is, we're just doing it early in advance so that we don't have so much to do on the day of. So tomorrow he'll trim all the steak and he'll get the skin off the fish. Um, so, but today we're gonna, we're gonna put this together and then uh, we'll roast it in the oven to warm it when it's time. And then we'll put on the sprinkle, uh, shredded pepper, pepper jack cheese and serve it and that'll be nice and golden brown on the top. We'll broil it, sorry, we'll broil it to make it nice and golden brown and crispy on top, it'll be perfect. And we just tasted it with the, originally the recipe called for butter and cream, but instead we used the sour cream and just a little bit of goat cheese. Basically we had six packages, we used six tablespoons of goat cheese and for six packages we used a cup and a half of the sour cream. I hope that helps. <laughs> Coach Kim here. Visit my YouTube channel for more recipes and health tips. And don't forget, hit the like and subscribe button.